let's try these neo color two pastels um i cut a five by seven piece of mixed media paper and i'm just going to do some marks on here just to get a feel for the kind of marks it makes the feel of the strokes how dark can they get they're very very pigmented as you can see um you use it just like a crayon, but it's less waxy. It's definitely more dry. Therefore, it's more smooth and you get a better load of color. You can press and get darker color result. Um, you can press lightly and get a lighter color and just change the different marks. So it's very much like using a colored pencil. It's just um, less waxy feeling, so I do like its smoothness. Here I'm showing that you can use a little bit of water and it works like a watercolor. So if you get it wet, you can blend and paint and create different effects. So here I am just playing around with that. I wanted to just try another color, so I just randomly grabbed this green. Again, super vibrant, um, easy to layer, um, very simple. The brown, when pressed, is super rich. You can press gently and blend it uh, as a gradient like you would a colored pencil, or um, you can make effects, again, just using watercolor. Any size brush, a little bit of water, and suddenly you have the ability to paint and add painterly effects. Very cool, especially if you're traveling. All in all, if you'd like to travel and not have to carry all your watercolors and colored pencils with you, these are a great solution.